Hi everyone, it's Dinara here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I even curled my hair today for making this video, so please appreciate that. Today I wanted to talk about cleaning your environment, your thoughts, your actions, your words and everything that is connected with yourself. It's very important because everyone in the self-help and awareness talks about the importance of thought, how your thoughts, how your words and actions create your own reality and how you need to be aware of what you're saying, of what you're doing, of your environment, who you're spending your time with. But not many people talk about how to do it. How can I control my thoughts or how can I control what I say? How can I control what I do? How can I control who I talk to a lot? So I decided to apply the Marie Kondo a method of doing the cleaning and clean your thoughts, clean your actions, clean your words with your method. And the importance of this method, the main point is you are ask yourself, does it spark joy? Does it help me to be a better person? Does it help me to get to my goals? So the first and main things to do is to audit, make an audit to clean your social media, to clean the content that you consume. Because we spend a lot of time in social media and we consume a lot of trash actually, a lot of ads, a lot of negative thoughts, lots of negative posts and a lot of stupid and entertaining things and videos and we just don't understand how much it affects us. Even if we think that, oh, I'm so aware, I don't consume trash, I know that it's not going to affect what I think or what I do, it actually does. Because your subconscious, it doesn't have a filter. It consumes and it it's like a sponge. It consumes and it takes in everything it sees, everything it hears. And in order to filter that, you need to unsubscribe from all the mailing that don't actually useful for you and you just subscribe once to get a free stuff but now you no longer associate yourself with this mailing just unsubscribe from everything in your mail in your instagram in your youtube all the social media that you use uh, you make sure that you follow only people that are achieving what you want and that they inspire you and motivate you to be a better person every day. Others, even if it's your friends, even if it's your colleague, even if it's your relatives, just don't follow them if they don't align with what you are going to do or with what you feel right now. And after cleaning the content that you consume, you need to clean the stuff that you have. All of the books, all of the clothes, all of the stationery, just go through them and get rid of anything you don't use or of anything that doesn't spark joy in you. I felt so much better. I just felt literally the energy flowing in my room when I got rid of all the unnecessary thing, things. It became so empty and it became so fresh i don't know how to explain it but it's such a great feeling after the cleaning that you do and every week i make sure that i throw out a bag of the things that i don't use and that way you are preparing a place preparing a place for something to enter into your life so before manifesting before writing your wishes down it's very important to clean your physical environment and to clean out your room to clean out your house Next thing to clean is your environment and the people who you talk to. I, when I got into this awareness journey, I realized that some people make me feel bad. After I talk to them, I feel drained, I don't have any energy and I have a lot of negativity from them. They always complain, they always uh, cry, they always have like this depression and they always have some problems. And I ask myself, why do I have to listen to those people? Even if we are friends for like 10 years, even if, if we, even if it's a great person in general, I just don't want to spend my time with people that make me feel bad and it's not necessarily people who agree with you in everything i have people in my life that t talk me things that i don't agree with or that uh, don't align with the values that i have but
but they have this positive energy and they make me feel good after I talk to them and I want to talk to them more and more and it's very very important to just stop talking to people just stop communicating and be friends with people who make you feel bad even if they are good people you also need to make an audit and clean all the activities that you don't like you just write down everything that you do and that you don't like of course there are some things that you have to do for example taking care of your children changing diapers and all of the things that you have to do but there are things that you don't have to do but you still do it because you think you have to do it and you don't feel energy after that you force yourself into doing that and sometimes you don't even realize that you can get rid of it or you can't delegate it or you can just do it rarely and not as often as you do it now be aware when you're doing activity and think like does it give me energy or do i feel bad after doing this and this activity and if it's making you feel bad just don't do it as long as it's possible in order to clean your thoughts you can do two things uh, you can uh, use journaling and you can just write down every thought that you have or you can do meditations also it helps with uh, auditing your thoughts or you can make a journal of your thoughts put uh, seven or eight alarms throughout the day every hour and just when the alarm goes you just write down in your diary what you are thinking about now and it will help you to see certain patterns you, you can help you to see that you ruminate you just repeat every thought over and over again and it's very interesting to observe that and finally how you can clean your vocabulary how you can clean your words your verbal communication uh, what i do is i ask people around me to tell me whenever i say the words that i want to get rid of for example i say stupid a lot this is a stupid person this is a stupid thing to do this is a stupid book and whatever i tell or do to others i tell to myself because people around me uh, and things around me adjust my reflections so i ask for example my family or my friends to to let me know whenever i say stupid and this awareness uh, helps this awareness helps me to get rid of the word stupid in my lexicon. This awareness helped me to get rid of the word stupid. And of course, you can do all these things at once. You can just start small. Start from cleaning your physical environment. And then you realize, wow, this feels so good. Let's try something else. Clean out the social media, the content that you observe. Then you feel you'll feel much better and you are like oh wow maybe i could train myself maybe i could use these techniques in order to clean my environment in order to clean my thoughts in order to clean my activities habits words and everything that my life is fooled with so we all know that words thoughts and actions shape our reality and now it's time to get started and to change it don't just see this video and say like oh wow yeah this is cool and i really believe that but i'm not going to do anything about that just just do it because otherwise it won't work leave me down the comment below where you will start what is the first thing that you will clean right now right here